Good day, grade 8. This is Teacher Jericho, your music teacher. Today, we will talk about the Korean music. So, we will explore what Korean music is. So let's let have an, an introduction first about Korea. Let's check its background. So, Korea is, is a country in East Asia that is divided into two states which are the North and South Korea. Okay, so the country is generally mountainous, so meaning there are a lot of mountains in Korea. So the North and South Korea have um, experienced different uh, climate. So in North Korea, um, they experience a much colder climate while in South Korea is relatively warm and wet. And Korea is also prone to typhoons and harsh cold weathers. Eastern countries like China and Japan have tried to influence the country, but Korea still maintains its cultural identity. So in short, bigo ang uh, ininagtagumpay ang Japan at China to influence Korea. And Western powers subdivided the country into North and South Korea. And Korean music has a long history. It's, it is influenced by their religion, philosophical thoughts, history, and war. So, ang dami-daming pinagdaanan ng Korean music. So, so, let's now go to Korean music. The earliest form of Korean music was used to celebrate good harvest and shamanism. So what's shamanism? So Korean shamanism or Korean folk religion is an animistic ethnic religion of Korea which dates back to prehistory and consists of the worship of gods and ancestors as well as nature music. So Korean music also reflects its geography. So, if we say reflects its geography, nakabatay din yung Korean music sa kung saan lugar sila ito matatagpuan. And it is a fusion of Chinese and Japanese music. It has a strong indigenous tradition. So, when we say indigenous, it is native. Ibig sabihin, matatagpuan lang doon sa isang lugar. So, folks, Folk music flourishes in every village and so in general, Korean music reflects the oral food and fascinating history and tales of the nation. So, Korean music basically tells about the history or the past of their um, country and their nation. Let's now go to their instrumental music. So, the instrumental music of Korea has enriched vocal traditions and music forms. So, these three are forms of instrumental music from Korea. The traditional musical instruments of Korea have been derived from traditional musical instruments from China. So, magkalugtong um, or hango sa um, instruments from China in musical Yung instrumental music sa Korea ng Japan. So, the folk music of the unified city of Kingdom has been derived from the Chinese music court. So, instrumental music also plays an important role in shamanism. So, there is what we call Sinobi. And the Sanjo, these are two musical instruments that are highly improvisational while being free. So, when we say improvisational, it is unplanned or biglaan. Okay, hindi inaasahan yung mga tunog kapag, pina, uh, kapag piniplay. Okay? And next we have the Chonga. The song uh, which includes both instrumental and vocal music is a music form that has been cultivated by the upper class society of the Joshua society. 
Song up means correct music. So the song up. So the song up and the gallery manager refers to the music of the masses. This music is distinctly vibrant, lively, and cheerful. So in short, the song up is for the upper class and the top up is for masses. It is a key panghalata while the top up is only for the people who are above. Okay, yung mga elite, si mga may katungkulan or kaya mga dun sa mukapi. Next is the Pansori. Pansori is an epic narrative song that is performed by high-paid singers and drummers. It is derived from the storytelling tradition of Korea. Okay? So, it is literally from a storytelling. So, the Pansori is divided into three parts, namely the singing section, the singing, and the action part. Okay? So, there are three. Part. So, when the speaking section it is remember they are they are only speaking. Next is the singing, they all sing, and then the last part is the action part where they take action in the story. So, so there are still um, original works in Pansori that is still being played until today. So, this part the song of Chunyang. Song of Shinchong and the Underwater Kingdom and the Song of the Red Cliff. So, as you can see in the picture, this is for the um, depiction of those songs. Now, let's go to folk songs. So, Korean folk music can be categorized as Lyrical ballad. So lyrical ballad are words. The words in lyrical ballad, the words are often sweet, romantic, and melancholy. The ballad themes are unrequited love and longing for someone. It reflects the soul and the sound of local villages in Korea. So um, let's have a quick check. Quick uh, meaning check about lyrical ballad. A lyrical poem is the one that expresses emotion, and a ballad tells a story, often derived from folk tradition and often with a supernatural element. So, pinagsama ang lyrical and ballad. So, basically, ly lyrical ballad is a song that has many emotions. Okay? So in Korean folks, in Korean folk music, you can divide this their folk music into five categories. So the first one is the work song, second one is the dancing song, third one is the love song, fourth is the drinking song, and fifth is the marching song. So the work song in contrast with the nature of Korean folk music is generously bright and lovely. So Natural lang naman yun sa mga work song because if the song is not lively, then parang overwhelming na sa work. Okay? Parang when you're working, you hit, um, you heard a work song, you, it will boost your, ano, uh, magiging productive. So, you can uh, fix or you can work a lot of things. And we have Alira. Arira is a Korean folk music that is famous for its sweet and appealing tune. Its lyrics have been translated into different languages. The song is a story of the imaginary red the blue of lovers in an empty mountain pass. So, basically, it's another love story. Okay? Now, let's go to the musical instruments of Korea. First one we have Gayu. It is also known as Kayu. It is a zither like string instrument with 12 strings. It is one of the most famous musical instruments of the in Korea. So as you can see, may namukarin siyang instrument sa 
uh, musical instrument from the band right. Okay. Next instrument is It is a musical instrument introduced by the Chinese. It has a shape resembling a fiddle and has a rod like neck. It has hollow wooden sound box that is up, open at the back and it has two silk strings. So, yun din, may kamukha rin siya from um, China, from the musical instruments of China, yung may kabayo, yung ulo. So, this one, um, meron lang siyang two silk strings. Next, we have the piri. So, piri is like a flute. It is a Korean double reed instrument made of a bamboo. It produces a sound mellower than any type of oboe because of its large reed and cylindrical bore. It is often used often used in play folk and court music in Korea. So, um, this spirit has a nice, uh, nice tulog na it calms you. So, makakapag-isip ka ng maayos and it has a nice tunog na ano, masarap sa tenga. Fourth is the Chango. It is an hard glass sheet drum that is used in folk songs, religious ceremonies, classical music, court music, and contemporary music. So, as you can see, mukha siyang hard glass na hindi na balik pa na may sand sa loob. Just put na wala nyo. Wala na. And now, let's go to K-pop. So basically, K-pop ay very sikat na ngayon, not just only in Korea and Philippines, but all over the world. Okay, so parang everywhere, kung kahit saan ka lumingon, there are mga K-pop fans. Okay, so lalo na in Asia or kahit na hindi dito sa Asia, yung over the world, very sikat na ang mga K-pop. So, K-pop is a contemporary type of music from South Korea. It is a fusion of electronic, hip-hop, pop, rock, R&B, and traditional Korean music. Yes, there is also a part sa mga music, sa mga K-pop now, traditional Korean music na kahalo-halo na maalang pretty kaya hindi na natin medyo napapansin and K-pop also includes visual elements such as sharp choreography and fashionable and striking outfits as you can see when you watch uh, an example of a K-pop group na nagda-dance in their music video di ba their, their mga suot or their uh, Dresses are talaga ng um, very fashion fashionable, and then their choreographies there are a bit um complicated from the normal choreography, and then um, K-pop is the short term for Korean pop. So the K or the K-pop means Korea, basically. Hmm. So yon. So, yan, um, as, as you can see in the picture, take a look at the picture, their, their dresses or their outfits are not simple outfits like simple dress, simple t-shirt, okay? So, this are the, their outfits are very fashionable, parang if you see them, if you saw them na, uh, parang, wow. May wow factor when you saw their outfits. Okay, hindi lang siya basta. And then they pass by parang wala lang. If this K-pop pass by, okay, parang mag-light up yung mata mo. And then they're, because of their fashionable dresses and everything. So the emergence of K-pop created some culture that is popular not just in South Korea but also throughout Asia and some Western countries. The need for visual appeal in the genre is relatively related to the advent of social media. Yes. Okay, if you saw Korean 
pop stars in their social media accounts in Instagram, Twitter, or what, uh, their visuals are incredible. And digital symbols that are released rely heavily on YouTube and other streaming media sites. So actually, you can watch a lot of K-pop music videos in YouTube. The South Korean government actively supports K-pop. Yes, they actively support K-pop because um, dahil sa K-pop, um, yung economy nila nag-rise. Kasi mas maraming taong tumatanggilig sa K-pop, mas maraming money ang mapapasok sa Korea. Okay? So, this or I'll give some examples of groups in Korea. So, this one is BTS. Okay? So, BTS is one of the most famous K-pop boy band that take note not just in Korea or in Southeast Asia but all throughout the world. BTS is the best-selling artist in South Korean history and holds the best-selling album in South Korea with Map of the Soul. 7. And according to the Guinness World Book of Rec Guinness World Record, BTS Dynamite, Dynamite is one of their songs, has reclaimed the, the world records of the most viewed YouTube video in 24 hours, most viewed YouTube music video in 24 hours, and the most viewed YouTube music video in 24 hours by a K-pop group. So, yun. Next is the Blackpink. So this one is a K-pop group group. So they are the first music group and Korean app to have three music videos with at least one billion views on YouTube. Oh, diba ang dami? So look at that. One billion views. Very sikat. They're very famous. And Blackpink is currently the most followed girl group on Spotify and the most subscribed group, female act, and Asian act on YouTube. So, yeah, it's Blackpink in your area. Okay. And there is also another example, the NCT. It is a Korean boy band with the most complicated and diverse members. So, yeah. There is a lot of members and CT. And that's all for music of Korea. Thank you for listening, grade 8. Again, this is Teacher Jericho, your music teacher. Goodbye. See you when I see you. Bye, everyone.